Ladies and gentlemen, as a member of opposition said that in this current status quo, we absolutely disagree with that statement because feminist movement is, developing, is developing more and more. And I would like to thank the member of opposition for explaining about human <coughs> exploitation in the K-pop industry. Human trafficking or human exploitation agency tend to uh, restrict uh, the idol's life, how the trainee pull the whole effort is to debut. Some of them have to always concern about their weight, diet, with the busy schedule day they have, because as an entertainer, people want to uh, 24 hours. Therefore, they must have perfect image no matter what. A small scandal in K-pop world are even damaging their career as an idol. Uh, they want as a natural human being to love is absolutely exploited. Unconsciously, K-pop industry, the idols as object, not human being trait. For example, uh, as an SD girls generation, one of the K-pop girl, K-pop girl group, uh, the members spend almost 11 years before they can produce their own money. Some of them come even get their own money for, uh, when af after productivity songs. Talking about uh, the demon, the member of opposition said that K-pop industry doesn't care about the beauty standard. They focus on uh, the demon. We know, as we know that the nature of industry is to gain profit. In this case, K-pop industry gain its profit by implementing beauty standard as its product. Now, the main requirement for fulfilling the demon is that the K-pop members of them should not have defects in every aspect, especially their visual. If they don't care about the standard, then what about the plastic surgery for prospective idols before debut? It means they also pay detailed attention on their visuals. They have no doubt to change their facial, their appearance, their uh, because the urgency of demons. Based on the survey, almost 30 persons, women in K-pop industry, acknowledge that they ever got sexually harassment by the agency officials. One of the Korean celebrity, Jang Jae-yong, died in his apartment due to suicide caused by depression after being made as a sex slave by her manager. This proves how bad and uh, dangerous K-pop industry, especially for women, not only they are forced to be visually perfect, but they also get so many human exploitation toward the idols itself. Talking about uh, the exploitation, uh, mostly K-pop idols are not given full uh, freedom of expression. They are pressured by the agency uh, to appear perfect as uh, other ones without thinking about their own desires. Uh, the body weight, access to the outside world, uh, appearance are strictly controlled by management. This is definitely uh, are against the uh, rights of things, women as uh, part of human being. They care about the rating and stock more than they care about the idols. Exploitation also uh, does not only happen uh, to the idols. Uh, some friends also unconsciously got exploited by the industry. To gain more profit, uh, they sell some merchandise that looks like the idols. Uh, the fans will have desire to own the merchandise as the pressure of being the fan of K-pop. Some of them do many things just to collect them. It proves that the uh, impact goes both ways to the idols and the, to the fans. Solely as an example, uh, five years after joining the agency, uh, she was in hiatus. On, uh, she was on hiatus because uh, of mentally and physically exhausted from the pressure of K-pop uh, visual image. Uh, Sule is a form of feminist in K-pop industry, as uh, she also never afraid to show her true self to the public. I'm going to show you why we should agree K-pop industry. Sully raised her position as a citizen who was pro-abortion uh, due to some uh, ideology she has that uh, mostly are opposite most of society in Korea. Citizens are totally uh, cancel her while, her, her, while she just express her choice. 
In fact, Sully left the industry at time when K-pop idols, especially girls, were still unable to fully uh, and freely express themselves without risking major backlash uh, from uh, agency of public. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you for the member government, Delta UTC, who uh, has spoken out about her argument. And here I will be speaking as the whip of government, which is closing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me point out all of the debate from our uh, point of view. The point of government argument is that we are focusing on how K-pop affects the whole people, especially young generation, in this case, young adults and teenagers. And the idols who are involved inside. And the feminist movement on opposing the K-pop industry is not about on its high beauty standards. Also, it's about human exploitation, which is, of, uh, which is <coughs> uh, often in K-pop industry. In our point, we are clearly opposing the K-pop due to human rights curse, which the opposition did not care about. <clears throat> because the opposition only focus on the urgency of the K-pop industry, not the, K uh, the impacts of K-pop towards society. Moreover, opposition only bring up the economical benefits toward the agency or toward the company not a direct impact to the society, which is not valid because the opening government has mentioned that the effect of K-pop is toward social life, not toward the corporation, right? <clears throat> so in summary that we, the government, are certainly will never support the K-pop industry. Because those reasons which we have mentioned before, that not only K-pop industries are harming the social life of young adults and teenagers. Also, they are harming the idols inside it. And the opposition literally giving us more argument, giving us the idea to bring up more uh, arguments on how K-pop industry works and how uh, they deal with the beauty standards. <clears throat> and Deputy Prime Minister has mentioned on how feminist campaign on educating women means that feminists want to, uh, want to make them, the women, aware to not get involved or maybe thinking twice before they get into K-pop uh, world. Because the feminist uh, movement believe that uh, the woman is not a product. Because in the case of K-pop industry, K-pop industries often use female or maybe male or maybe non-binary uh, people become as their product. <clears throat> Moreover, the discrimination which happens on K-pop industries are, uh, has already been mentioned by member of government. They, idols, are suffering from, uh, from strict rule of lifestyle, diet, physical form, because they have to appear perfectly in front of the public in order to gain more profit to the company. And again, the opposition did not mention the direct effect of K-pop industries to the idols. As we have mentioned, that feminist movement is not only supporting the abolition of discrimination among societies affected uh, by its beauty standards, but also trying to support the rights of idol, uh, idol themselves. See, we are not talking about the effect of K-pop toward the society only. But here, we are talking about the effect of the K-pop industries towards all, including the idols themselves. <clears throat> and, uh, and here, the opposition think and consider that the idols on the K-pop industry as the product because they only mention the benefits of on how K-pop industries work and how the economical uh, positivity when the K-pop industry is supported to the Korean uh, government, not to the Korean society. And also, are you considering the idols as the product of the K-pop industry, which you can exploit 
by you and the companies you are supporting, aren't you? Okay, uh, we declare that we, government, are opposing the K-pop industries and also the patriarchy society that member of opposition has mentioned. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any freaking sense because it has nothing to deal with. We're not living in this uh, 18th to 19th or maybe 20th century anymore, which patriarchy had uh, ruling the, uh, the world. We are in a postmodern society, which is 21st century. We don't have anything to deal with with patriarchy, and that's not valid. Also, we believe that the point on how beauty standards affect the teenager both physically and mental with, uh, <clears throat> with such high standards, and those cases are often happen to those who are really obsessed with K-pop which could lead in security, current changing behavior to our jobs, because job vacancies will often looking to those who have good body looking or appearance. And the victims are not only from the commoners, uh, <clears throat> in this case, a normal people, the non-idol, the idols themselves become the victim of the brutality of the K-pop industries. Thank you. <laughs>